Mabuhay. Salamat datang sa Wadika. Dear friends, welcome to Manila. Former President Fidel V. Ramos, our boss forever. Secretary Jesus Duresa, Secretary Junes Peron, Ambassador Delia Albert, Ambassador Ong Keng Yong. I see here with us a former Senator Rodolfo Biazon and former Senator Santanina Rasul. Undersecretary Catalino Puy, Assistant Secretary Grunhal, Your Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, ladies and gentlemen, friends. On behalf of the organizers, the Philippine Center for Islam and Democracy, the ASEAN Society Philippines, the S. Rajanatram School of International Studies, and the Office of the Presidential Advisor on the Peace Process. Welcome to the Conference for Peace and the Prevention of Violent Extremism in Southeast Asia. Many of you have flown great distances to join us today to address how we can achieve a common goal, peace and the security of our peoples. Many of you have traveled from areas of conflict to discuss how we can move forward and ensure that what happened in your communities will never happen again, not to you, not to any other community. I particularly wish to express our gratitude to our friends from the beleaguered city, Islamic city of Marawi, and the Rakhine state of Myanmar who are with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, ASEAN member states are facing new challenges as the militants of the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria enter our borders. Here in the Philippines, the current Marawi crisis has shown the devastation brought about by violent extremism, its threat to democracy, and the need for its prevention through good policies and action plans. The likelihood of upcoming attacks still looms in the horizon and is crucial that the, that the country be prepared in dealing with a plague that is capable of destroying and even wiping out a peace-loving civilization. It has been months since the Marawi siege began and we feel very badly for Secretary Jess and Secretary June, who have had to bear the burden of the crisis, together with the President and Secretary Lorenzana. The residents of Marawi City, both Muslims and Christians alike, are hoping that peace and order will be attained soon. With the citizens expected to return home, after the conflict, but with their homes and communities in ruins, there is a need not only for rehabilitation efforts, but also for efforts to promote unity and healing among the peace-loving communities. Hopefully soon, the terrorists will be quelled. However, you and I know this does not mean that violent extremism ends. It is very important to remember there is an urgent need for efforts to prevent the buildup of extremist groups. I fear that the terrorist network will continue to recruit and lure, especially the youth of those areas affected and its neighboring areas as well. We are facing a threat that attacks, that bombings, um, that attacks democracy as we live our daily lives a threat that spreads like wildfire without really showing itself until it is almost impossible to prevent, like the case of Marawi. Thus, it is imperative to prevent the buildup of extremist networks in our country and yours. The Marawi siege is not only a domestic crisis, but also an international catastrophe because there have been reports that foreign militants have joined with their 
Filipino counterparts. Violent extremism is therefore a danger common to the ASEAN community, a danger where each of us can actually help our governments and ASEAN itself to formulate a plan so that we can prevent this kind of violent extremism from ever surfacing or expanding. On ASEAN's 50th anniversary, the Philippine Center for Islam and Democracy, the ASEAN Society Philippines, the S. Rajanatram School for International Studies, in partnership with the Office of the Presidential Advisor on the Peace Process, celebrate our one ASEAN community by organizing this conference. This Conference on Peace and the Prevention of Violent Extremism in Southeast Asia to address the challenges of the expanding influence of extremist groups such as ISIS. I believe there is an effective preventive solution, and that is what we shall determine and consolidate in this conference. We shall contribute to the solution so that there shall be no repeat of incidents such as Marawi, not anywhere in our region. As you all came to this conference hall, you must have noticed the display of clothes made of indigenous materials, which were woven by our women. We decided to showcase a few examples just to show everybody the beauty of the cultures of our peoples. The Barong Batik, for instance, is of Husi, a Philippine textile, which has been shipped to Indonesia, to Yogyakarta, to be hand-stamped by batik artisans. A true ASEAN wearable art. The other attires are made of hand-woven textiles from the women of Muslim Mindanao, where each tribe has a different weaving tradition. The women who wove these textiles have suffered tremendously from armed conflict, and the beauty of our cultures, which are in their hands, have been stained by the blood of victims. In Marawi, the women weavers have lost their looms and thus their livelihoods. With this loss comes the possibility of losing altogether a very important cultural tradition, their weaving tradition. It will be a shame nay, a crime, to lose such beauty, such tradition, because of armed conflict. This conference, we hope, will galvanize our stakeholders, political leaders, the religious, business sector, academia, women and youth, to engage with our governments and protect our communities from the lure of violent extremism. We hope that these key sectors will establish relationships crossing seas and mountains to work together for the peace and security of our peoples and communities. We hope our governments and ASEAN will listen to us from civil society and engage with us to work together in establishing a national as well as a regional action plan to prevent or counter violent extremism. After all, it is a job not for government at all not for government alone, but for all of us. Together, that is the ASEAN way. And as my boss, former President Ramos, always said, the motto of ASEAN is sharing and caring. Ladies and daring. Sorry, Sek Jess, and daring. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing, caring, and daring. daring. Maraming salamat po. Welcome to the conference.